So you've decided to stream on Kick. You've made the jump from some other platform, probably Twitch, and you want to add stream alerts to your Kick stream. Well, you've come to the right video and I'm the right person. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, and I'm going to be going through all the details in this video. Let's go. Okay, so I feel like this probably should go without saying, but obviously you will need a Kick account. If you've not already set up a Kick account, check out this video here. This goes into it at the very start of it. Obviously, you can then come back to this video and then set up your alerts. To set up stream alerts on your Kick account, this is what you need to do. First of all, you want to go to botrix.live forward slash login. This is a pretty reliable yet still in beta tool that is being used for all kinds of different alerts, including Twitch, Trovo and Discord and a number of others. Now make sure that you are logged in with your Kick account. Make sure that you get the language set here correctly. Probably the best thing to do here is to log in with your YouTube or your Twitch account. So you just need to click one of those. You may have to accept the permissions, which my camera's in the way of, so I'll just move that out of the way. You do have the option to upgrade to the premium account, which allows a custom bot name. And I'm sure there'll be a load of other benefits to this as well, but it's not my job to promote this. This is just a generic video and I'm not being paid by Botrix for this video, so I'm not going to promote it. <laughs> now at this point, it says that we're logged in with Twitch. Now to set the alerts up on Twitch, you can basically do everything that I'm about to show you, but for like Twitch when you're logged in here. But we do need to log in to Kick. Click on sign in with Kick. So I know that I'm already logged in with kick but if you're not you simply go to the top right hand corner and you'll have the option to log in it'll be just right there can't really see it here because i am logged in now i'm just going to click sign in with kick and that means that i'll at least be signed into this platform botrix with kick so i can get the stream alerts onto kick now at this point i can set a username for the account linking i'm going to just make it the same name as my kick account and click accept and at any point i can get help from the discord now at this point we need to actually moderate botrix in our kick Kick chat. It's very similar to what you would do in other stream alert tutorials as well. What we now need to do is click on continue. What this will do is take us to this domain here, which is forward slash moderators. And it means you can add channel moderators from this page. I'm going to click add new and I'm literally just going to search for Botrix. This has moderated Botrix and it's allowed it to have moderator permissions on your Kick channel. So I'm just going to click add and we can see here a confirmation message. This will allow Botrix to send stream alerts to your Kick. What it'll actually do first is it'll allow it to have the information to then allow it to have the browser source to then send the alerts, but then the browser source needs to be added to your streaming platform. I'll be going through all of this in the video, so don't worry. Now, if for some reason you don't land on this page, you can simply go onto your page on Kick. So kick.com forward slash your username. Obviously, don't type your username, type what your username is, in my case, Machine Dana. I've got zero followers because I've done zero content on Kick and also zero streams. So help a brother out. Give me a quick follow. I'd very, very, very much appreciate it. And I might shout you out as well. <laughs> what we need to do here is go into the chat and we can go forward slash mods and you've got the option to then go Botrix. Now, if I press enter here, because it's already moderated through that other way of doing it, it's probably not going to work, but I'll just try it anyway just to show you what it looks like. Yeah, so it says something went wrong. That's because Botrix is already moderated. Now we need to go back to the Botrix web shot, web... <laughs> Now we need to go back to the Botrix website and click finish. But at this point, first, we want to just copy this link, including the exclamation point at the start here. So control C on that, or you can right click and copy. Now you can click on this link here or just say finish and it will take you to that link. If for some reason you don't get into the Botrix chat room, this particular URL will get you straight into there. So just type that in directly into your browser and then just send the message that we just pasted or rather just copied in this chat. Now, I did find this bit quite buggy, uh, to be honest. For some reason, it wasn't working for a long time. I guess they're getting high usage at the moment, and there's quite a few different bugs. But it is in beta, and this is a fast-growing chat. So eventually, mine has been kind of like successfully linked. What I ended up doing to fix this, go back to my moderator list. I unmodded Botrix and remodded it, and then went through the same cycle process again. But if in doubt, just go into the Botrix Discord and ask for some help there. Now, at this point, we go back to Botrix webpage here, panel 
forward slash profile and click finish. And that's now linked our kick stream to our Botrix account. And basically the two things should talk because they're modded and they're linked. This is still showing as being on Twitch. So if we change alerts now as we are, because we logged in with Twitch onto the Botrix account, any changes we make here will be to the relevant platform account that you are in. So if you want to make some changes to your Twitch alerts, fine, you can do that. If you want to do it to kick, you would have to go to this section here, click on settings and it will switch over. This is within the profile tab on the left hand side. Now we can see Botrix has switched the platform to kick and we get a confirmation message here. Let's just take a break for a second to recap. We've linked our new Botrix account to our kick account and we've logged in with kick and we've also logged into botrix with our kick account as well and the two things are linked and also moderated on kick as well quite a long list of things that you need to do but this means that it is now and should be ready for the alerts themselves we're going to set up the look and feel of those alerts and then we're going to go into adding it as a browser source onto your stream itself and then hopefully that will conclude this tutorial so to set up the look and feel of the kick alerts for your stream we need to go on the alerts section here. Now at this point we can set up custom alerts for subscribers, gifted subs, followers, raids, kicks and tips or donations. Obviously you have to have all of those things enabled. You can't have an alert for subscriptions if you're not affiliated with them yet. You can't have an alert for tips and donations if you've not set up tips and donations in the Botrix account yet. Now obviously you have access to followers. Anyone can follow anyone on kick so I'm going to click on this just now. We can set whether we want this active or not by just clicking that tab here. So for instance if any of these you did not want to have active you could just click that and now we can choose a style so there's like a few moments later now we can choose a style for the alert. There's like a default one, a compacted one, and then a Botrix specific one. And also we can choose where we want the text and the image to go, just layout. Now, if you've ever used CloudBot from Streamlabs, this is virtually identical to the stuff that you're doing there. And I do have already a tutorial for that. I'll link it in the description and up here. But if for some reason you don't like Botrix and you do want to use Streamlabs, then you can do that. But I don't know if Streamlabs is available for kick just yet. I have no idea why, but this page has been translated to Spanish. So instead of the alert duration being three seconds, we have three segundos. So let's say I wanted to increase my stream alert duration on kick to five segundos. I would just pull this bar up a little bit. Now we could choose animations, like for it to slide in or fade in or flip in or whatever. I'm just going to go something simple like a fade. Choose an image and a sound and the volume for it. Now I have got the option to upload an image from my computer using this green icon here but they also have a bank of images available too. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to select from a GIF. And, and obviously it will be a goose. There's plenty of goose, goose geese. I'm pretty happy. With that. I like this deal with it one here. So we'll click with that one, choose, choose. And now we're going to go with the sound. And this uses myinstance.com. If you didn't know, myinstance.com has got loads and loads of sound alerts. I'm going to go with myinstance.com and just show you what this actually looks like. So this is where you can play different sounds. This is obviously like trying to integrate it. So now when I click into this, I can choose a sound from my instance. Say, for instance, I wanted a honk. Ass honk. <laughs> Ear rape honk. <laughs> that is not a goose honk, but I'm going to use it anyway because it's quite funny. I'm going to click choose on that. So we've got the image, we've got the sound set, we've got the volume set as well. We can now choose the text color and the bottom text color. Now, nobody likes a Times New Roman, so just choose something a little bit better on the typography. And then also the text itself can do an animation. So we'll have a elastic why not? And then also the font size as well. Now here we can customize the text. Thanks for following. Now subscribe. <laughs> hey, it's a call to action. Some people are going to do it. Okay. Appearance of the text. This just means that the picture and the sound can kind of uh, fade in and out separately. But you may want the text to have a separate duration to everything else. And lastly, you can add some custom code to this as well. Attention. This is functionality for people programming knowledge. Based to hear code that someone sends you could cause data theft. Knowing this, do you want to activate the advanced editor? I don't know why I'm speaking in Japanese samurai. Uh, I'm going to say no to that because I'm not an advanced programmer. You can do that if you are an advanced programmer or daring. I'm just going to click save settings here, but just to say that you can import alerts as well. Now at this point, we have like kind of customized our alerts. Now all that's left to do is get the widget URL and place this as a browser source inside of your streaming 
software of choice. In my case, I'm going to be using OBS Studio, but you can use Streamlabs, XSplit, whatever streaming software you want, okay? Actually, I recently reviewed the Prism mobile live streaming software, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. I'm going to link that software there. You can set up browser sources within the mobile software, which I thought was absolutely amazing. Check that out if you want to. Really, really useful if you do any IRL streaming. But for now, I'm just going to copy this widget URL. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to test the follower alert that we've just set up once we've added this to OBS. So here I am inside of my OBS studio. I'm just going to hit the plus icon here in OBS under sources. This will allow me to add a new source and we're going to select browser. Browser is a browser source. Basically, it's like existing in the web and you're pulling it into your OBS studio. We can call it browser uh, kick alerts. Click OK. We've given it a custom name. I'm going to paste in that URL browser source that I just copied from the Botrix website. There are some other options here like the height and width. We can use custom frame rates, control the audio via OBS if we want. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit OK. Now, I want to make sure that these alerts are on the top most layer. If they're not on the topmost layer like this, then they might ap like appear and work, but they'll be hidden. So you might hear them, but not see them. And that's because something else will be above it. Uh, hopefully that makes sense, but it operates in layers and the top layer is literally the top layer. So if you're finding that you can hear, but not see the alert, uh, it could mean that it's somewhere down here. You just need to grab it, drag it to the very, very top and you should get like an outline like this. Now at this point, I can resize it. I could change the position of it. A quick tip here, if you right click and transform, you can say I want to fit it to screen or I don't know, I want to center it horizontally so it will center it perfectly in the horizontal of the screen. Now all that's left to do now that we've added this as a browser source in your streaming software is to test the kick alerts and we need to just click on followers. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to right click on the website and I'm going to mute the Botrix website because sometimes what could happen is you hear the sound through Botrix, but it doesn't pull through to OBS Studio. We want to make sure that the sound we're hearing is not from this website here. So I'm going to hit followers here. It will send a test alert through kick kind of and like as though someone subscribed following me on kick. Ah, malfunction. I'm just going to click it and see what happens. There we go. Deal with it. You get the honk. That is Times New Roman. That is not what I wanted. We now have alerts set up on our Kickstream from Botrix. So whenever someone follows, subscribes, raids, all those good stuff, you're going to get an alert and you get that interactivity from your viewers. Hopefully you found that useful. And if you did, you will definitely find this one useful. How to set up chat alerts. So alerts within your kick chat. These two things go very complementary together and it only takes a couple of minutes to set up. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care.